Goedenavond. Um, am I allowed to talk in English? It helps me a little bit because um, talking, giving talks in German and English is uh, what I've learned. In the Netherlands, I'm uh, probably just at the beginning, and there's a good reason for that. Um, we have, in the last 10 years, we fought a, a battle here in Europe that, um, that um, did not allow us to spread out as quickly and as widely as we wanted. When you do things like we are doing, you are, um, it's like a bottle. Uh, there's a genie in the bottle that uh, becomes bigger and bigger. There's more scientific information coming available. <coughs> Excuse me. And in order to uh, get out of this bottle, the genie needs to pass what is called the bottleneck. And in a historic process like ours, that means that it gets very narrow because everyone, all those interest groups who want to keep the genie in the bottle, they will unite. And they will do everything to make sure that this, this genie does not get out of the bottle. And that was our situation, still is to some extent, but that was our situation for the last six, seven years. First, when we started to work here, they had to get warm what we are trying to do, but then they realized, they meaning the interest groups that, uh, that um, have designed and are now essentially administrating uh, the healthcare sector, um, namely the pharmaceutical investment business. They were observing us. What are they doing? What, uh, what, uh, how successful is it? And then it was very successful. So they started to uh, invent all kinds of measures to block us. There are three ways how a, a historic process like ours is being um, torpedoed or attacked. One is science. Um, by uh, trying to prove that we are wrong, Fact is, however, no one ever did that. They were saying you have no proof, which of course was wrong. But they never entered into a scientific debate with us. Never ever. They never did a clinical comparison study with us. They never did this. Because they were afraid and they knew what would come out. The second level how they attack is at the level of the law and regulatory um, things, like uh, defining vitamins as uh, prescription drugs. So you could not say, uh, we've tested this vitamins and it uh, helps to lower blood pressure, or uh, it helps to improve heart function, or it fights cancer, uh, without uh, um, risking to go to jail, because you just made this vitamin a prescription drug by saying what your research found. The th that level, and Chris mentioned it, uh, had uh, a very tough, very hard uh, uh, sequences uh, for, uh, you know that Germany is one of the leading export nations of pharmaceutical drugs. So the pharmaceutical manufacturers, Bayer, Schering, Höchst, uh, uh, BASF, they were writing the laws. The former Chancellor, Helmut Kohl, um, his first employer was BASF. They, uh, you know, the people in Germany thought they were voting for uh, a politician, but in fact, uh, <laughs> long before they could vote, it was decided that he would become the, uh, the Chancellor and stayed there for uh, an unprecedented 16 years, managing the interests of the pharmaceutical industry. So, so this industry had direct access to the executive level in Germany, meaning the, the, uh, the government and the executive level. And accordingly, the laws were prepared by the industry itself and were handed over to the chancellery and to the government for passing in the parliament, making uh, 500 milligrams of vitamin C a drug, for example. 
your dog produces 20 times the amount of that, but uh, for human beings, it's too dangerous. This is why it's a drug, but only in Germany, not in the, in the, sorry, not in the Netherlands. So for three years, the state prosecutor of Hamburg has been using the police in Hamburg to gather all kinds of evidence that I'm violating this laws with the goal to bring me to jail. I mean, that's what they wanted. Uh, and uh, so the event that Chris just reported about had a, a three-year history, and they piled up three binders, uh, one, two, three binders, of material against me. They had, they had been sitting in every lecture I had been giving uh, and made reports about it, I mean, uh, talking about vitamins. So it all came down to this, uh, to this court case in, in, in Hamburg in October, and the, um, there were two days of hearings, and uh, at the end uh, the judge said, uh, this is, uh, uh, these uh, two days have shown that uh, we are not dealing with a charlatan, um, that we are dealing with someone who may have had the role of a pioneer for new approaches to cancer. Now imagine the whole foyer was full of all the cameras and journalists who were sent there by those pharmaceutical media and the judge said, sorry boys, but that's how it is. So the situation, and I'm coming back to this bottleneck, the situation has changed since October. And we immediately realized that. And we said, now is the time that we need to do what we wanted to do eight years ago. Go out, tell it to everyone, invite people. Because we could carry this genie through the bottleneck. But what happens next, it's either happening through you, because you want it, or it won't happen. I'm saying, from here on, the tasks that need to be attacked, building a new healthcare system, taking on responsibility at the local, regional, and national level in, in healthcare sector and other sectors, that is up to you, the people. That I can't, you, you're not doing this for me. You're not, you're, we are here to tell you what we've done, and scientifically, politically, etc. And you take a decision. You don't need to believe us tonight, but probably you are here because you wanted to get your own opinion on that. So there are many sources where you can look for, for example, the internet. Our internet pages of the foundation are um, among the widest read uh, sources uh, in the natural health area worldwide, because we document everything. You cannot go to the Daily Telegraph or to uh, um, uh, the Archimen Dachblatt because they won't tell you the truth. So you need to know where, where to find information. You can also talk to the people who have been working with us for, uh, through those complicated years. But um, I'm hoping that when my talk is over that we've given or I've given you enough incentive to ask the questions for yourself and then make a decision.